Hello everybody, 98 Rebel Builder out here at the treehouse today. And uh, just gonna show you, as you can see, it's kind of messy, so you can automatically assume that I've been working. So, what the hell, I'll just show you what I did today. Might as well. This is the door that I built. It's from 200 year old barn boards, and I just overlapped them so all the rain would go down, obviously. And um, there's a lot of cracks right now. These are just temporary. Once I get the plywood siding on, I'll probably overlap it a little bit, maybe like half, two, half an inch to an inch. That way, uh, that'll all work out that way. And then, um, yeah, it's just a two by four on this side, so the hinges would have something good to screw into. And then, let me just open this so you can see here. Um, and then on this side, it's just um, another one of these things here. Another one of these, just see. And then, just closes up here. And then I put this little lock on the inside there. As you can see. And once this gets more temporary, I'll put a, I'll put weather strip all the way around here. And probably maybe some caulking, just to get it all settled in and secured, so no heat goes out from the wood stove in the winter. And oh shit, this, see it's a mess in here too. Yeah. After this, I gotta come out, back out, clean up. So. Uh, that's a real nice lock, I think. I didn't have the other part that goes over here, so I just cut a 90 degree and a piece of plywood and then put another block over the top. It works out fine. And then right here, by where the door opens, from like five feet out, I'm gonna put more tile. So it'll like come out five across, three out, and that'll secure this area here, all this out there. And then under the table will be wood. Right here will be wood. Maybe a little bit over there. And then over to here. So there's not a lot of wood. It's more tile than anything. That's the plan I came up with now. I'll keep that there. And then right here I'll have a carpet. Because I'm actually... I'm, I plan, I'm planning on building the stairs now. In, instead of the ladder still. So I'll go over those again. So from like halfway right here. I'm going to have um, a platform go across, and then I think it was three steps up to that, and then you turn around here, okay, you turn around, and I'm going to cut this right there, build a little bracket around that, and I've got another cedar post I'm going to put from there down to the floor, and then I think it's five steps up to right there, and that'll be the stairs. And then um, a little railing right here, so you don't fall into the wood stove. So um, it's getting there slowly, but it's pretty good. It's really only me working now. Back in the beginning, it was two people. So nine months, it's been maybe ten now, and nine and a half for this whole deck that I'm standing on this piece here uh, all of that this whole tree house which works out great and then, um, I'm going to begin my roof on this weekend I can show you here I've got my new pieces to my new roof I've already got one up over there it was real windy the day I put that on so I didn't go ahead and do any more but um um and then, so for, so here, like I said, stairs going this way, a little, to a little platform. So, like, stairs, platform, and then stairs up to here. And then it'll just lead up to here. And then, um, I'm gonna sleep this way with my feet at the end, um, or over here, instead of my head there, and feet there. I just didn't really care for that. So, head down there as you can see and my feet down here and this can easily sleep maybe I'd say at most four or five 
because my friend's cabin's 8 by 10 um, and the, well the loft is probably 8 by 8 Austin's cabin so that sleeps 3 this loft is um, um, what is um, 8 wide and then I'd say maybe 9 long something like that and then this platform here I'm sitting on and this extra piece right there so as you can see it'll be able to sleep quite a few people and then I'll get my TV mount and put it right there in the corner and the TV that box TV that's that's down there right there I'll go up there and you can see it from everywhere you are up here and then um um this whole area right here that I'm sitting on will be storage. Maybe make a little, another little piece right there. And then let me show you here what my wood stuff plans are. I gotta get the pieces. I'm gonna get them on Amazon. That's where I found that they were the cheapest. It was Amazon. So um, I'm just gonna set it right here. Probably fix the legs on it. Set it right here. And then from the top, at the wood stove, have a one foot piece. 90 degree angle, another one foot piece from off the 90 degree angle, and then another 90 degree angle to go up. And by that time, I'll have the wall thimble, two way wall thimble, like right here, and I'll just go right out of there. And then from that other 90 degree that goes outside, um, I think three, three 24 inch pieces. So um, that'll be six feet. That it'll go up, and I might even get more than that, maybe like four to, uh, you know, that'd be eight feet just to get all the way up there, and then get a damper in here, so, and then the, the um, whatever the, whatever you call it there, that thing you put at the top, the snow cap, or I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, I think it's called a snow cap to keep all that shit up. But, needless to say, it'll get done. And on Amazon, I think the total for all those parts would come to like 200 something. When usually you'd pay $200 just for a 90 degree angle, so I'm liking that a lot. And I'm really liking this door, too. Sure, it's not the best yet. It's not temporary yet, or permanent yet. The door is permanent, it's just not in its permanent place. So, needless to say, that thing's awesome. So, anyways guys, um, not sure here. Let's just go for a walk, real quick. See if there's, ah, uh, I'll go take you back to my house then. I'll just talk to you. See here. Show you the temporary wood stove stack I built for when I'm outside. It's just that right there, it just sits on the top of that. Blew open the wind, but anyways, I don't really have fires out here. My mom thinks I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, I've already had like five, but anyways. So, um, yeah, let's just go walk back for a second. I want to have a zip line. From the, like the roof up there, down here to the shed, that'd be awesome. Let's see, or it'd be this 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 line right here. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yep. So I apologize for my last video when the UPS guy came. That was funny, I thought. Anyways, um, and then I'm gonna make a video. I could actually make a video tonight of all the things I'm gonna, I have for my treehouse. But I got quite a bit back here too. This thing right here. There's a lot of other stuff in it too. This bathroom thing, I don't think I'm gonna use that. But um, yeah. I'll be able to make a video of that sometime. Of that stuff. Most of it's in the house. I might do a video on that today. Or later tonight. Upload it tomorrow or tonight. But anyways, why don't you come in my house?
no one else is home. But, anyways. Put right there. Alright, from, oh yeah, I gotta go back out. Never mind. And then, my room. Yeah, see, there's all that stuff over there. But I'll get to that. So, yeah, it's messy. Who cares? I don't live in here. I live out there, right? It's just storage. Anyways. And then, we got a picture frame for a picture of me and Austin. I guess that's what it was given to me for, for when it finishes. So, we can have our picture in there to remember it. But, uh, yeah. So, thanks for watching, everybody. 98 Robo Builder. Comment and subscribe. Don't rate. No one cares about that. So, alright, guys. Thanks.